Hi guys, I have to interject before I get into this unboxing video. Um, there is two unboxings, but I just want to be totally and completely honest. Uh, one of the items from this unboxing I have actually um, sold. It is currently being sold on a payment plan and um, it is actually the handbag that I chose. Yeah, it's no, it's no longer technically in my collection. It is going to go to a new home very soon. And I sold it because I realized after I, you know, bought the bag and you know, there is a story to it and you'll see that later on in the video, that my heart is still really set on getting an Hermes uh, Kelly in the horseshoe step. So I really want a HSS Kelly, or obviously I want a Kelly or even a Birkin 25 from the boutique, from Hermes, my local boutique, but it hasn't happened yet. I'm pretty upset that it hasn't happened yet because it has now been um, 20 months since my last um, bag that they have offered me, and I definitely have spent enough, so I am pretty disappointed in that. Um, I will have an updated Hermes journey video later on at some point. I will promise, I promise I'll film one. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I no longer technically own the bag that I am revealing in this unboxing, but I do love it. I think that it's a, it is absolutely amazing, you know, and I, I really didn't want to let it go if I didn't have to, because I know that a unicorn like this, um, especially with Chanel, that, you know, it's buy now, regret later. I know that I could very well regret selling it, but money doesn't grow on trees and my heart is really set on getting you know another Kelly bag so I did rehome it but I still wanted to upload this video because I just wanted to show you the bag and also I, I addressed some key points on like the price point on this bag and it is amazing I, I really would definitely repurchase one of these bags down the road perhaps next year I feel like this year is the year of Hermes for me and then next year will probably be the year of Chanel but um, only time will tell we will see okay so let's get right into today's video Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting um, Chanel double reveal. These are items that I picked up for my birthday. So I do have two bags here. Um, I already have taken the boxes out because I realized when I was trying to take my thumbnail picture that it actually is really hard to hold two heavy shopping bags and take a thumbnail picture. So they are in fact empty, but I do have two Chanel boxes here, uh, two Chanel boxes, two Chanel shopping bags for a double reveal today. So if you do like luxury videos or if you like fashion videos and all that sort of stuff, then I'd love if you would hit that subscribe button below. Of course, if you aren't already subscribed, um, then also hit that bell if you aren't already subscribed. So you can be notified when I upload new videos that I upload uh, twice a week on a Wednesday and on a weekend. Um, okay, so. Let's get right into these unboxings. I do have a story to tell, so this is going to be a bit of a chatty reveal. Um, if you don't like chatty unboxings, I'm gonna try my best to put it towards after I do the reveals, um, because yeah, I talk and I, I give you guys lots of information. So I'm gonna start off with this first one. Both of these items have come from the same Chanel boutique. They have come from um, a Chanel boutique that's outside of Sydney. But yeah, there is a story to tell that comes with both of these items. So let's get right into it, opening up the first one. So these are items that I picked up for my birthday because it is in fact my birthday in August. I turn 32. So we have uh, dust bags. So that's probably kind of a giveaway as to what's going to be inside, especially if you see in the side of what's on there because I just kind of showed you that. But yeah, probably a giveaway if you're familiar with Chanel unboxings. Um, you know that this particular item would come with, with two dust bags. And again, it would be no surprise. If you are already a seasoned subscriber to my channel, you would probably know that I am pretty shoe crazy. I love designer shoes. Um, I love shoes. And I picked up the Chanel sandals. These are from uh, 20S collection. I'm just going to show you the side of the box so you can see, just in case you're wanting to know um, like the product codes or that sort of thing. Okay, so there it is. So that's from um, the 20S collection. Take out this stuff. And I got these in my true size. So I have already tried these on just to make sure that they actually fit because these were sent to me they were sent to me from another boutique. I didn't go and try them on. I had actually been wanting these sandals for 
like as soon as I pretty much seen them come out. Um, this is my sort of style. I love that kind of like ugly sandal sort of look, but these ones are a little bit more dressy than the typical ugly sandals. I'm gonna go get my other one so you know what I'm talking about. These are the other sandals that I have, the ugly dad sandals, whatever you wanna call it, just so you can see a side by side comparison. These are in that rubber format. I got these from Bima because I couldn't get them in Australia. And as you can see with these, like, at first glance, these do look more dressy in my opinion, but these have a different sort of sole to them. So these ones, um, you can see it looks kind of like Chanel uh, collabed with Birkenstock, whereas these kind of hold their own. They don't look like they're any kind of hybrid or anything like that. They aren't like a traditional sort of ugly sandal. But what I did notice about these is that, just in case you happen to be curious in these particular sandals as well, um, firstly, these are more heavier than the other ones that I have. The traditional like ugly dad sandal um, are far more comfortable than these ones. These are actually a little bit heavier which makes them a little less comfortable. Also they're very flat as well so if you look at that it's super flat in contrast um, in contrast to these ones they've kind of got like a bit of um, like raised height to them. They're just really like great for your feet. These are like very sort of orthopedic I suppose whereas yeah these are flat not exactly as comfortable, a little bit heavier, but I still really do like them. Um, Price-wise, they're probably around about the same. I ended up paying about the same for these as what I did for the other ones that I have. But also, the other thing I wanted to note was that the actual covering of this, it looks like it's cork, but it's not. This is like a fake cork covering all the way around. Like, it's like, yeah, it's synthetic. It's not really cork. It feels kind of like... Uh, when I press on it, it feels like sort of like a foam, like a really, really thick foam is inside here. So that's something to note. When it comes to like the longevity of this product and wear and tear, I feel like these would not stand the test of time as well as say the other ugly sandals, even in that rubber format. I think that they are built better the retail price, which is quite expensive. These are $1,680 Australian. So yeah, this is the first reveal from the two that I have today. Okay, so on to the next Chanel unboxing. Again, I will just open it up and then I will tell you guys um, my thoughts on this purchase. Oh, things are falling out everywhere. Okay. Now, this is a magnetic box. And anyone who already has bought Chanel items before probably has an idea the difference between the box that I open and then the box that I'm about to show you guys now or the item that I'm about to show you guys now that is in the magnetic box. I don't know if the bag is visible. It probably is, so I'm not going to say, do you want to guess? I'm just going to show you. Inside. Oh, look, you know, this, this box needs to go down. Needs to go on the floor because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Hold on, I know anticlimactic or anticlimactic, whatever. Okay, we have inside and by the shape, probably have an idea of it already, but for anyone who's not that familiar with Chanel, even I'm not very familiar with Chanel actually, I picked up a mini, used to be formerly known as a small, now I believe it's known as the mini, Coco Handle. This is from the 19K collection. This is a, pretty much this is like an ultraviolet purple. This reminds me of ultraviolet from Hermes, kind of similar to Hermes Crocos, except probably more so on that, I'd say definitely more on the ultraviolet side because it is um, a deep, deep purple, cool undertones. Um, it's got like, I don't know, it, it's just, this color is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put pictures on the screen of course so that way we can try and see the most accurate color but I picked this up because I actually am crazy for purple right now yeah ever since I added in my rose azalea constant I have just gone bananas for color and I just has it just completely opened my eyes I love neutrals I will always love neutrals because neutrals are safe they're easy to wear but I've just now had this new invigorated outlook on colors and on colors that I actually really, really like, colors that I wear. And how I'm gauging the colors that I do like um, is my kind of color palette in my wardrobe. I have a purple top on because I actually do like purples. Um, I like that kind of purple that has cool undertones, I like berry purples. There's pretty much all purples that I like. I like pastel purples. 
Um, I like yellows. There's just so many colors that I actually do like and I have realized by looking at my wardrobe at the colors that I actually own and I'm like, hang on, I actually wear this quite a lot. I wear this often and now I'm starting to realize what colors would work for me in my bag collection. So that is why I picked up the beautiful Coco Handle, mini Coco Handle in the 19K purple. Now the retail price on this, it has actually gone up. Um, they have, they are now at $5,780. That is the price of them. The story is, is that this is actually not the first Coco handle that I bought for my birthday bag. I actually bought a um, Coco handle in the baby pink that was released as a part of the pre fall collection. Um, I bought it from the Sydney boutique. I went and tried it on. Um, I actually wanted the lilac or the beige, but they were not, not they were not available. They just sold out like hotcakes. Everyone wanted them, and I was unable to get my hands on it. So I tried on the baby pink, and I did like that as well. And I'm going to include a picture of me unboxing it here and some pictures of the baby pink bag. However, I tr even though I tried it on the boutique and I did like it, I got home and. I started to have some doubts and I went to sleep even having doubts about my purchase and I woke up going maybe I didn't make the right the right choice and the reason that I say that is because I already have in my collection a Constance in Rose Azalea even though these pinks are different they're different pinks Rose Azalea and, bubble gum, and this light pink bubblegum pink is not they're not the same pinks okay but to me they still were similar they were in that similar kind of uh, corally peachy family uh, and the bubblegum pink is like a true sort of candy Barbie pink, which is what I call the cocoa handle is like a bubblegum pink and Rose Azalea is like a true Barbie pink, but you know, just more deeper, darker, that sort of thing. I felt that they were still too similar in the family of pinks. So that is why I've now ended up with this bag, but this came from a different boutique. I talked to my sales associate that's based in another boutique outside of New South Wales and I asked her if she if she could accept um, the bag as a return like for a credit note and she was more than happy to do that I just had to ship the bag back at my own cost so unfortunately I did end up having to pay the shipping costs and then with insurance as well it cost me around about $65 Australian so yeah I shipped it back to her she gave me a credit note and she told me that she still had the 19k purple available which is actually the color I was talking to her about buying before but I don't know I just the reason I didn't pull the trigger on it, even though I really wanted it, uh, was for a couple reasons. First reason being was that I, I thought that possibly I was going to get an Hermes bag, like a Birkin or a Kelly, as a store offer for my birthday. That didn't happen, alright? Didn't, it didn't happen, <laughs> okay? So that was why I didn't end up buying it from her in the first place. Um, and the other reason was because I got up in the hype of the whole like lilac and beige cocoa handles. And even though I really liked this from the get-go, I kind of just went into the hype. So I went to the city trying to find the lilac or the beige cocoa handle and I couldn't find it. And I essentially, at, at the time, because I was like, I really wanted to get a cocoa handle, I didn't want to miss out on it another time around because I missed out on the beige one um, when it was cheaper, I decided, look, I'm just going to get one. But obviously that colour wasn't right for me. So that is why I shipped it back and changed it over for this even though I liked this in the first place yeah so this is not like my second choice or anything like that you know um, I still like the beige and the lilac but with all of those options the purple is just as equal as well I love the purple as much as I like the lilac as much as I like the beige and yeah I just I, I love purples purples is my kind of color anyway purples pinks pastel colors are my kind of jam not royal blues I have realized if you watch any of my other videos, you probably realize that I once owned a royal blue bag and that did not work out for me, but I know that purple is a kind of color for me. Also, purple is really easy to wear, I find, with the kind of color palette that I have. Also, with my skin tone, I feel like it really suits well. These are items that I picked up for my birthday, essentially. I know that this was a bit of a weird kind of unboxing video. I had multiple interruptions, so it does it does become really difficult to stay on track with what I'm trying to say and not be all over the place when I get keep getting interrupted all the time at home. When it comes to Chanel, this is the actual only bag that I can really justify paying for at that price point. Like even now with the new price of 5780 it is still an easier price to swallow than the price of a Chanel Classic Flap. Now, when I was looking at purple handbags, I actually wanted the Chanel Classic Flap in the purple from 20S, which is a really nice, cool undertone purple. But all they have available at the moment in... Um, in Australia as far as I've found out is a medium size classic flap and that's 
$10,800. So I tried that on as well before I ended up buying the Coco handle, but I just couldn't stomach that price. It is pretty much up there with, with Hermes pricing and we have all kind of noticed that we've all been talking about the fact that the Chanel price increase is just insane, but the Coco handle is a far more reasonable price point. Eventually it'll, it'll get up there as well, I'm sure. And if this becomes a classic, it'll no doubt go up there in price. But right now it is the bag that I can definitely justify buying brand new from Chanel, you know, from the boutique. Um, at that price point. It's not 9,800 like the price of the Chanel Small Classic Flap. I think it's 9,840. The Medium, 10,800. And they're not even gonna go into the price point of the Jumbo. I think that's like 11 and a half, 12,000 or something like that. So this is a far more reasonable price. So if you are looking to get a Chanel bag that is classic somewhat, even though it's not formally classic, it has the silhouette of a classic bag. And look at the top handle as well. It adds more versatility to the bag because you can kind of hold it in the crook of your arm as well. And then you've got the back pocket as well here. My dog is tapping at the door. Oh my gosh. But yeah. I'm going to do a separate review on this on this bag. I'm going to wrap up this video here and I'm going to have to deal with my corgi that's trying to get in who wants to sit in here and he, oh gosh, such a weird unboxing video today. But yeah, that is it. <laughs> I'm just going to end this video here because I feel like it's all over the place. These are my new shoes. <laughs> My new Coco handle bag, which I love. And yeah, if you like this video, even though awkward, then give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.